So the U.S. is increasing our military presence in the Middle East. Yahoo says the following. Pentagon sending troops to Syria after clashes between U.S. and Russian military. The Pentagon is deploying a small number of U.S. troops to Syria after a series of escalating encounters between the U.S. and Russian militaries. According to three U.S. defense officials, the troops and vehicles will serve as a show of presence to discourage the Russian military from crossing into the eastern security area where U.S. coalition and Syrian democratic forces operate, the officials said. The additional troops will include six Bradley fighting vehicles and fewer than 100 soldiers operating in northeast Syria on a 90-day deployment. U.S. officials said these actions and reinforcements are a clear sign to Russia to adhere to mutual de-confliction de processes, processes and for Russia and other parties to avoid unprofessional, unsafe, and provocative actions in northeast Syria. So, again, the headline is Pentagon sending troops to Syria after clashes between U.S. and Russian military. See, now would be a good time to scream at the hawkish Republican president to de-escalate. Now would be a good time to talk about pulling the troops out. Now would be a good time to talk about avoiding fighting at all costs with another nuclear armed power. But none of the Democrats are going to say that. You want to know why? Because flies in the narrative of Trump being Putin's puppet. So they're going to ignore the fact that we're escalating with Russia right now. Because that doesn't suit the narrative. The narrative is he's Vladimir Putin's puppet. He does whatever he wants. That's fundamentally untrue. Total BS. But this is what the Democrats believe. So now there's no opposition. Trump can be as hawkish as he wants against Russia, and there's no opposition where they say, hey, maybe you should make peace with Russia. There's no opposition. See, this is a problem. This is a very big problem. But beyond that, now they say, oh, we're adding, you know, a fewer than 100 soldiers to the area. I think there's already 500 there. So yet again, we could be seeing the beginning of what's called mission creep. This happens in Iraq. This happens in Afghanistan. This happens all throughout the Middle East. We, oh, we'll send some, and then you send a little more, and a little more, and a little more, and next thing you know, you got thousands there. You know? And Trump's yo-yoing the troop levels in Iraq and Afghanistan now, dropping it from, you know, whatever it is, 8,000 to 4,000 thereabouts. So, what's crazy to me is that the military-industrial complex has such a hold on the two parties that nobody's out there arguing, hey, let's just pull out. Let's just get out of the Middle East. Nobody's arguing that. And um, that's a shame. A lot of people have died because no politician is really taking a stand for non-intervention and peace. And now we're seeing a very dangerous escalation because there have been skirmishes between U.S. troops and Russian troops. And sending more U.S. troops there is only going to increase that, the likelihood. And by the way, let's remember, Trump even admitted, oh, we're in Syria to take the oil. So all this risking escalation with another nuclear armed power to take more oil from the Middle East. This is what Trump said. It's not me coming up with it. He said it. That's why we're in Syria, to take the oil. So we're violating international law. We're the bad guys in that situation. Again, nobody, nobody really talks about this stuff. I've only seen a handful of articles on it. Mainstream media outlets didn't really cover it too much. Should be a big story, should be a big story, but the things that should be never are because our national attention span is abysmal and the people who give us the information are mostly propagandists.